Hi, I'm Paul Miller, founder and CEO of B2B Growth Lab. This is the second in a series of free videos about how to win B2B customers in a virtual world. This video is all about how to write outreach emails to influential executives so that they are more likely to get opened, then read, and then generate a response for more action. So let's go back to the brain. It represents 2% of your body weight, but it actually takes up 20% of your calorie requirements. And it's hardwired to switch off if there's no tangible benefit to your survival. So if you start confusing people, you've lost them. So keep it simple. Remember that 2%, 20% rule. And just remember that if you confuse, you lose. But let's have a look at HubSpot's analysis. They did a survey of 40 million emails. They found that the highest read subject line was three to four words, plus the person's name. The highest read rate is somewhere between 50 to 125 words. And then the highest click-through rate is 125 to 200 words. So the message is that if you've got a subject line of three or four words, and it includes the person's name, and you've got a number of words in the body of around 125, that's going to be your best chance of getting a good open and then read rate. So here are some email tips that I would suggest. Number one, make the subject line personalized and keep it to three to four words. Number two, keep the total word count somewhere around that 125 to 200 or possibly even less. Number three, make it personal. You're dealing with human beings. We're not dealing with machines. Number four, explain why you're reaching out. That's really important. You want to have a clean conversation and you want to introduce yourself that way. Number five, offer a piece of content. And then number six, provide a clear and easy next step. The best way to illustrate is with a client of mine, zero latency. You go into a warehouse, stick on a backpack and a helmet, and then you've got a plastic gun in your hands and you enter this 360 degree world of virtual reality entertainment where zombies are climbing out of windows and coming at you en masse. It's very exciting and a hell of a lot of fun. Here is the first email that we came up with. Pretty simple email there. It's got a little image in it so that people can help visualize because as the old adage goes, a picture paints a thousand words. Let's put it into a bit of analysis here and go through it step by step. So this first paragraph is really the reason for the outreach. The second paragraph is talking about the positive ROI. So it's really talking about a key benefit. The third aspect is building some credibility the fourth aspect is a little bit of social proof. This is a comment from one of Zero Latency's licensees, and clearly they're very happy with the experience. Let's just quickly go back to the brain again. If you confuse, you lose. And this is why I love the Hemingway app. If we cut and paste that message into Hemingway app, this is what happens. We get a grade seven reading level, which is great. 155 words, which is okay. That fits into the 125 to 200 word limit that we set for ourselves. Now there are a few things in there that it talks about. It doesn't like adverbs. Two of the sentences are a little bit difficult to read. I think the average entrepreneur or executive is going to understand that. So we made a decision to leave that as is. So what actually happened? Well, after six months, we sent a total of 600 emails, which represented about 150 companies. So on average, we're sending it to about four contacts per company. And this is an account-based marketing strategy where you're not just sending it to one person and hoping for a direct hit. You send it to a team of people knowing that if someone thinks that someone else in the team would be interested, they would refer it on. And we found lots of evidence of that happening. We had a total of 45 responses. 31 of those responses were interested. And it ended up being a total of about a 20% response rate by company. This video showed you some of the science and success techniques behind creating an outreach email to influential executives. The next video will explore how to ask a handful of key questions in your discovery meetings so that you can build a compelling business case. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.